Okay, it's March 19th. This is gonna be a germination station update. And I decided to do it over at the actual germination station rather than in the tent. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the setup, there are LED lights right there off Amazon. Uh, the racks are off Amazon, the trays are off Amazon. Uh, everything's off Amazon except for the seeds in the soil. So uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure someday I'll be uh, shilling those Amazon affiliate links, but not yet, not today. Anyway, uh, what's going on with the germination station? We got a bunch of little starts and basically how I have this set up is the tray in the back is the seed germination and I keep the humidity dome on that. Uh, it is slightly tilted open, but it gets, you know, very misty in there because the seeds like a lot of humidity. Not too much, but uh, they need to be humid. Uh, I've got a mirror right there. I don't know if it reflects the light of the LEDs to help the plants. I just put it there for space management because I'm in a garage. Uh, but that would be kind of cheeky if you could reflect it back onto the plant. I don't see, I don't know enough about mirrors. I'm not a mirrorologist, so I, I don't know how it works. But anyway, uh, so basically the seeds will pop and these seeds have been popping pretty consistently. I got a couple new pops going right there. Uh, in a day or two, once they have the full cotyledons or um, whatever these uh, birth leaves are, these two little ones, uh, once those kind of open up, I move them into the second stage, which is either this one or this one. I have the red cups in this one because they fit nicely right there. And then I have the white cups in that one because they fit there. I do bottom water these once a week. And then daily, I come out and spray uh, a little bit of water just to keep the topsoil most. It's uh, pretty much just an application. And I use a sprayer I can show you uh, because it is an arm's reach. Just got to balance, reach for it, and not mess up the camera work. Boom, done. So I got this am I got this sprayer off Amazon. Whatever, you don't need to see it, but um it's cheap. And it's got this little nozzle here. And basically what I do to water it, I go like that. And that's all I do. I do that once a day. Sometimes I miss days. It's not the end of the world, but I do that once a day to keep the topsoil moist. And maybe once a week. I'll bottom water everything for about 20 minutes with just water. Again, these are in Fox Farm Ocean Breeze soil and uh, no external nutrients added. And basically what I'm doing, the plan here is to germinate over there, uh, incubate over here. Uh, I don't know if I'm using those terms properly, but the plan is just kind of have a, a runway here. And once they get here, once they get to about this state, this one's looking like it's about ready to transplant. I might wait for those that second set of leaves to pop out a little bit. This one, maybe a week. This has two for some reason, not sure why. Um, another one has two, this, this one has two. And this is, this is the one in the cocoa. So maybe that's why. Uh, maybe this one's cocoa as well. Yeah, cocoa. So that's why it has two. Uh, but I'll split those up. Those are Carolina Reapers and Cocoa. Sorry about the focus. And then, um, so these two, I'll wait till they're just a little bigger and then I'll transplant them into the larger normal size red cups. And then after that, into a three gallon pot. So you kind of keep going and you, you, wanna, you wanna beat the roots a little bit. You don't want them to get root bound because once they get root bound, it slows the growth and then you gotta tease out the roots and I don't think that is good for it. Okay, so that's pretty much all we're going to talk about right now. We just remember we got stage one and then stage two. They get a little bit of water each day and then maybe a bottom watering each week. No nutrients, pH water to about 6.5. And then finally, before we close out this video, we're going to look at this plant right here. This is the only seedling I've had problems with. And if you look at it compared to the other ones, it's very yellow. And I think what that is is called damping off. Uh, and that might be because the temperature in the garage was pretty cold. We had a lot of nasty weather in Southern California. I don't know if anyone watches the news, but it's like one of those four horsemen of the apocalypse type situations, but it's all good. So anyway, uh, that one did damp off a little bit. It turned a little yellow. I probably won't transplant this, plant this one, but this one, 
I did move back into the the dome one. Keep in mind that will have a this one will have a humidity dome uh, to try to combat that damping off. Hasn't been very successful. But anyways, that's what's going on. Germination station. Don't want to take up too much of your time. Have a good Saturday.